I'm here today at Hannah's Bar in Liverpool. We're here today to interview boxing legend John Conte. So we're just waiting for John at the moment to appear for our interview. So uh, hopefully when he gets here, we'll bring it on. John, um, you started boxing at quite a young age. Um, talk to us about your boxing career and um, you know, talk, talk to us about any of the sports that you were involved in at, you know, at a very young age. I started boxing in uh, Kirby, uh, about 10 miles north of Liverpool. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I was 11. Yeah, I liked uh, athletics at school yeah. and uh, football. Uh, I used to play with some good footballers who went on to become professional footballers at the school I was at up in Kirby mm -hmm. as a young lad and athletics I liked as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was boxing. I really sort of seemed to uh, be good, good at, but mainly later on in my career I made a mental decision to, that, that was a good, it was going to be boxing. I, th I felt it could have been athletics or football. Mm. I think when you're growing up, it's like my dad used to wake us up and listen to the likes of Muhammad Ali on the uh, radio mm -hmm. with their World Championship fight against like Sonny Liston, Zora Foley, great fighters like that. And it was inspirational and uh, same as the magazines, the Ring magazine, the American Ring magazine, mm -hmm. uh, our own boxing magazines here, but uh, particularly the international magazines though, you know, because it was a world sort of uh, thing and uh, Ali, yeah, it was inspirational at the time. People like that inspired me. So, uh, John, how do you think um, uh, boxing has changed over the years for young people now? Well, all the uh, the medical side of it, and the science of it, and the rounds, and the health and safety, all that, that's been improved a hell of a lot, and the gloves and the equipment. Uh, and it's got, um, yeah, there's a lot more weight divisions as well in, involved in it, which is good. Half a stones, like uh, basically half a stones in between each weight. Seventeen different weight divisions at one time. There was only eight weight divisions. How, how do you see, um, you know, like training now for young people? Tips, you know, that you could actually give them anything that you would have done differently. Uh, no, I just say stick with the people who know what they're on about. You know, your team there, they know all about that. They're as good as you, and if not better, than their uh, jobs, what they do. And if you're with them and they're with you and that's your team, well, listen to them. And all you've got to do is uh, give 100%. It makes it easier if you give 100%, I felt. My trainer always used to say, most fighter won and lost on the training ground. So if you give 100% and you're dedicated, you can fulfil your potential and you could uh, even possibly beat someone who may be a lot more talented than you, but is not as dedicated, and you could beat the likes of them. And um, any final tips that you can give young people for today at all? Any, any inspirational advice that you can actually give them? Uh, yeah, i just say uh, consider it before you go in, and uh, are you going to give it 100% for the amount of years you're going to be in it? So if you give it a three-year stretch, a five-year stretch, and say, uh, well, how long? I'll give it three years, five years, and give it everything I've got and see where I end up at the end of that. That's it, you've made the decision, you know what your life is, you're going to eat, sleep and drink it. You've got an, I used to feel I had an answer for life when I was a young fighter then. Anything uh, that didn't tally up with boxing, you know, 24 hours a day, yeah. just went in one ear and out the other. So I had an answer for life was, you know, fitness, dedication, uh, commitments, and with the team, do exactly you know, what they say. It's Believe in them and believe in your team, and give you know you'll fulfil your potential. And if you do, you will be a champion. You may not win the championship, but to you, you've won the championship because you've done the best you can do.